Hello all, I am David and let's talk Tao for a second. So I have three of the Tao Taunors and I'm hopefully going to show you how I build to fully paint the models and also explain how I've built them, where I've pinned them and maybe able to help you at home. This is by no means a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm not a professional YouTuber, video maker type person. This is just going to be on a whim, hopefully one or two part video and see where things go to. So please enjoy. So this is the base that you get with the Titan for Forger World. Very, very flimsy, probably about three mil and I wouldn't recommend that at all. By the time you put your Titan on top, your scenery, your flocks, sand, cork, whatever, it's going to start to bend in the middle and it's just not good at all. However, on eBay, five pound, five mil acrylic sheets, sturdy as hell and this will not bend at all. I've sanded it down so that when I put my flocks, my sand, my scenery, um, there's just going to be no give in the base whatsoever. It's going to be solid as hell. And then five mil rods I put into the feet and then onto the base like so and that'll keep it sturdy. As for trans transportation, I want to have the bottom half fixed to the base completely and just have the top half of the Titan able to remove um, and that again is just for transportation purposes so I can take it to games or whatever. So coming on to the feet, it comes in five different sections. The main body here, this small part here you can glue on without any problems. Uh, you don't need to pin this at all. The main foot I would recommend pinning and also these two bits here at the side, they kind of expand, so I would recommend put them in mortar with the foot in place and then push it together, which will give it a steady bond just here. And then once you have your final position, how you want the foot, you can then drill down into the foot area and then you've got your pin, which can be a little bit difficult, there we go. And then if you place in, like so, that foot isn't going anywhere. And then this side piece here comes in two parts. Again, just score the parts that will be connected with the glue. And then you can fix that in position. And again, you don't really need to pin this area as that will be pretty sturdy. The foot will be taking all the weight. As for the middle hole, once you've built your legs, the ball sockets here you can pin and then that will go in like so um, and that is solid as hell. The, the main leg area is not going to be going anywhere and that's what you want. You want legs to be completely sturdy, not flexible at all else with all the movements, you know, if you're playing the games or whatever, uh, it's just going to start to fall apart. The main purpose of this Titan build is to be to make it as sturdy as possible and not flexible at all. So moving on to the legs, I would recommend doing them one at a time, especially if you have some sort of pose that you want to do, because actually building the legs and getting them into that pose that you want can be quite difficult. So this is the left leg. You have the two main sections here. I've already glued this part on and also pinned it. And this part is not going anywhere. As for one of the main joints here, I've already drilled my two mil hole and then once I start getting the pose that I want, like so, say if I want this pose for example, I can then pin straight into this ball socket here or leg socket and this part then isn't going anywhere. And then all I have to do then is just glue this area here, connect another part of the main leg and then drill down into this part and again, this part is going to be completely solid. It's not going to move at all. As for the ball part that connects your leg to the foot, I would recommend getting the pose that you want. Say for example, like so. And then I would use a marker to get the position that you want. And then dipping this into hot water, 
inserting the ball joint and then closing these two bits together which will remove those gaps there that are there and then you can glue and score inside fix that in the position that you want it and then that part isn't going anywhere at all and then you've got then your left leg completely finished and it's all one solid part it's not going anywhere you know if you start to move this play games whatever it's not going to break apart going on to the main section here that holds your legs together i've already pre-drilled a three mil hole into the sides going down into the ball sockets so when you fix and get the position that you want i would recommend just marking the position that you need and then what I do is I score with a knife these parts here. I use JB Weld, a lot of JB Weld, which is a very strong bolt, but it does take some time, I'm afraid, to, um, to cure. Fix it together like so, and then use some sort of grip to hold these together solidly. And then once it's completely cured, I will then drill into the leg, the ball socket joint, and then insert my paper clip or my brass rod and then that leg then is completely solid and then I'll just repeat the process for the other side. So I've been asked by a lot of people regarding how I mark the ball sockets here into the actual feet themselves. So once you have built this whole section here, what I would recommend is taking your foot and then putting a rod like so through the actual foot and then snipping it just so it's peeking out the hole and then turning that rod into a little spike. Uh, I just put my rod in the drill and then use a file to turn that into the spike. And then once you have the spike or the, the, the brass spike type thing inside like so, just paint the top of the brass with some black paint and then you can fix the ball points inside, which will leave a mark in your ball point. Just push down a little bit firmly as well, that helps. And then that will give you like the pre-hole for the actual position for when you put your legs into the actual feet themselves. Um, and then what I'll do is put your brass rods into the ball sockets push down and then mark off at the bottom and I like to have the brass rods just peeking through the bottom just a tad not too much but just a tad which will help with the stability and that's pretty it really pretty simple you know the legs can be quite a daunting task especially for me I'm not a professional modeler by no means but once you've done one you kind of get the hang of it and just take your time that's all I did is just take your time you know, pre-dry, pre-fit, everything uh, before you drill that hole and pin those parts together is the only thing that I can recommend, really. Uh, in the next video, I'm hoping to show the, the body build, uh, the weapons on top, and how you put those all together, and also connecting the main parts to the, to the leg sections, like so. So we'll see you then. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've learned something and I'll see you again for part two. Thank you and have a good Christmas.